A very special day for us as we showcase the talent of our young children and of course for you who have come today to see your little ones perform with utmost of confidence and enthusiasm. Today as we are celebrating this, we are also celebrating the success of 35 years and this my marks a very momentous day. Later on, we will be seeing some videos which showcase the journey of Shamrock. But I'd like to just share some very important information with you. Since you are a part of the extended family of Shamrock, you have trust in us. It's very important for you to know that your children are in good hands. Shamrock very recently was bestowed with the title of being first in Mohali for Team by Education World. First in Mohali is an extremely big achievement which makes us second in Punjab and fifth in India, which is again a very, very remarkable achievement. And all this has been possible because of the faith and the trust that you have proposed in us. You would have seen how your class you know, from class 1 onwards, your children are experiencing STEM classes. Well, STEAM is a part of the same thing, the STEM classes and the STEM lab, which your children have been going through. So this is an extension of the same, which we are bringing into all our classrooms, into all our teaching. And it makes education across uh, curriculum, across other subjects, and brings it to life, connects to life, I'm sure. Your children will benefit greatly from this. At this point, another very, very remarkable achievement which I must share with you is that uh, you are well aware that Shemrock is connected, has a partnership with Maharaja Ranjit Singh Armed Forces Preparatory Institute. Your children are young, some of you may know, but this is a landmark in our partnership that very recently, just three, four days back, we were we got the information that our student, Arman Prit Singh, was all India rank one. <laughs> to join the Elite Defense Services, the National Defense Academy. The lakhs of children who sit for this, and out of them, some clear the written examination, then they go in for the SSBs, which is a service selection. And finally, they make it, and this child has topped all India. He's in the newspapers. Please go through, you will find, you may even search on the website, you will find, in the internet, you will find that this child is number one, which is a remarkable achievement. So, Shemrock is making big strides. And I'm sure your little ones you see today will be the future uh, you know, promoters of success. Well, with this, not too much to talk about because the most important thing today is to see our children. But few things I'd like to share. One is the children are at an age when they should be reading. So please, very hard job I'm asking you to do, but do it for the benefit of the children, is to take them off the mobile and replace it with a book. Give them story books to read. Let the children's imagination grow, transcend all barriers, and let their minds be nourished with good books. Preferably English, because this is a language that children must learn to be successful in future. But other books also are most welcome because stories are stories. And grandmothers I know have always been telling stories to their children. So now class 4, I think more than hearing stories, they need to read. This is one thing that I really wish you parents would do that. Taking the mobile away is very important. Hard job as I say once again, but do it. Second thing I would like to share today is about developing habits in the children. Let's develop habits because nine-year-old, eight-year-olds are very good ages to inculcate the habits which will be lifelong. Whatever we want our children to be, 
This is the right time to sow those seeds. So teach them value of education, time to study, regularity, coming to school in time, respect for parents, respect for grandparents, and sharing household work and gratitude. Very important is gratitude. Grateful for what you are doing for them. Of course, parents will do it. But why not teach the child to be grateful? This is a very important thing which we must teach our children. Many times later, parents say, Ki bacha baat maanta nahi hai. At that point, you can't do much. But now you can. This is the right time. So if you will teach them to value the love you give them, teach them to do some little things for the grandparents, the children will remain bound to the family and they will listen to you when they grow up. Well, with this, I wish you all the best for today's event. We will really hope that you will stay till the end of the event. Do not leave in between because it's not fair for the children who have been preparing for so many days to see an empty hall. The thunderous applause is what our children deserve and we must stay till the end of the program. We also have a curtain call where the parents and children will definitely look for you. So don't deny them that happiness to see your presence here. So do not leave in between and we are going to close the gate door in any case. We won't let you go. So please stay, enjoy the program and be encouraging to all of you once. I would also like you to introduce our compeers. Please come boys. The young children, Triant and Renault of class 8 and 7. They will take you through the day today. So please be with them and motivate them at every level. Thank you.